there are specific instructions along with liberties that you can take. It's more about what kind of interesting sounds can I find and, and utilize and, and be able to draw upon at the spur of the moment. It's, it's written instructions, a three note figure, a five note figure, but there's other instructions for free improvisation or don't play. <laughs> it's completely unconventional in that, in that regard. It's not as much about the narrative of the composer's ideas and more about the space that you're sort of occupying in that moment as you're listening. You're getting caught up in something that's a bit more, that moves slower, changes more gradually. You know, you have to know what she's written down uh, despite its re relative brevity. So you're familiar with what to do, but mainly you get ready for it by by sort of preparing my repertoire of things that I can do on the instrument at any given time. And performing a composition like this, yeah, it can be intimidating or, you know, but I, I think on, on balance, I feel much more excited about doing something like this because anything can happen, anything's possible. I just think that's the ultimate freedom. I think that's why I got into playing music in the first place. The fact that this is likely the last piece that she wrote is an incredible honor to be able to, to bring it to, to the audience. I mean, the day before she passed away, that's pretty heavy, yeah. And this is the last idea that was, musical idea that she got down on paper. That's pretty cool. Very grateful for that. The, the path um, that I hope to be on is one where the energy that comes out of the work that I do is, is beneficial. I'm not interested in making an object of, of art and entertainment, mm -hmm. but I'm interested in making something that uh, helps me to grow and expand and change as an individual.